Let us go through a dissection of a sprouted gram seed and look at its different parts to study them. For that I have taken a gram seed as you can see here and as you can see I am showing the different steps of growth of the radical and the primule that is the embryo. So this one is a seed that has been soaked in water. It has not germinated yet. In the second one you can see a radical coming out from the lower part of the seed and slowly the radical shows growth whereas the plimule also comes out from here. So we are going to dissect one of these seeds and look at its different parts, learn what the different parts are and look at the different parts of the embryo. The gram seed has two cotyledons, it's a dicotyledonous seed so this is one cotyledon, this is the other cotyledon. If you look at this part, there is a slight depression in between the two cotyledons. This is where the cotyledons join. This is known as the raphe. So the raphe continues for the entire seed in between the two cotyledons. Here you see a slightly darkish region here. This is known as the hilum. This marks the point of attachment of the seed to the fruit. Just below the hilum, you see this minute opening here, this minute opening which is called the micropyle. This is the opening through which water enters into the seed for germination. The radical that is the future root also comes out from this part. Now the seed is covered with this tough brown covering which is known as the testa. The testa and the tegmen make up the seed coat. So I am first going to take out this outer layer which is known as the testa. For that I am taking a seed which has already germinated and I am going to show you how. So when the radical comes out, this is the radical. So when the radical comes out, the testa already starts bursting because you have kept this seed in the water for uh, some time so that the seed starts germinating and keeping it in the water makes the seed absorb that water by imbibation and swell up. So when the cotyledons swell up the seed starts swelling up increases in size and the pressure breaks the seed coat. Okay so now let's take out the seed coat first this is the seed coat so for that I am giving an incision here and I am just going to tease the seed coat so that it peels off or simply comes out. Now the structure that you see here is the testa which is the tough outer covering. The tegmen is very thin and almost attached to the cotyledon. So I am not going to try to take that out because that might damage my seed. Once I have taken out the seed coat, what I am left with is known as the kernel. Now the kernel consists of these two cotyledons which are responsible for storing food and the radical that is coming out that is the future plant which is the embryo in this condition. I am just going to simply press the two cotyledons and you will see the two cotyledons open up. It's very easy to open up the two cotyledons and therefore you also have to be very careful. So once you look at these two cotyledons, when you open it up, you can see this is the cotyledon. So these are the two cotyledons and you can see the plimule right here at the center. So this entire thing is the embryonal axis. Let me show you a much grown embryonal axis so that it's easier for you. This is the plimule. This is the epicotyle, this lower part is the hypocotyle and this is the radical. So the primule will give rise to the shoot, the radical will give rise to the root and this is known as the embryonal axis. So the kernel which is the inner content of the seed consists of these two cotyledons and this embryonal axis. Now let's have a closer look at the embryonal axis. So these are the parts of a dicot seed. The two cotyledons are on the two sides as you can see. This is the embryonal axis of which this is the plimule which will give rise to the future shoot. 
This is the epicotyle. This epicotyle region consists of a lot of meristematic tissue and when these meristematic tissues divide, the plumule grows in size or in length. The next part of the embryonal axis is known as the hypocotyle. Of course, there is no external differentiation between the parts except that in the plumule region you can understand that small leaves are coming out. So after a plumule we have the epicotyle then the lower part is hypocotyle. The hypocotyle is again a meristematic region. The cells of the hypocotyle when they divide the radical grows downwards. So then you have the radical and the radical gives rise to the root. So you have the plumule which is the future shoot then the epicotyle, then the hypocotyle and finally the radical which is the future root. So these are the parts of a dicot seed and that is how you dissect it to observe the embryonal axis inside them. Do hit the like button and share it with your friends if you did. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, hit the subscribe button right now and click on the notification bell. Do check out the full courses on our website and Android app Manocha Academy. We have courses on physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, coding and artificial intelligence. Links are given below. So let's stay connected and let's keep learning together.